Hey, hey guys, this is Dar Shaggy, and I'm coming to you with yet another video. And on this video, whoa, whoa, wait, what are you saying? Uh, a promise. A pr oh, yeah, I promised that I'd have a new opening. Well, you guys ready to see it? If, uh, if you are, buckle up, because here we go. Hit it! So what'd you think? Was it kind of cool? I sure thought it was. A friend of mine over at S Fez Productions put that together for me back in December, and I haven't just had haven't had a chance to use it yet. Um, I was gonna put it debut it on my Christmas stop motion, but as you guys all know from my last video, and anybody that's watched my videos back in December knows that I didn't get one out this year, and you know why? It's because I was helping out a person I thought was a friend who ended up being kind of a jerk. But anyway, that's all hearsay. I mean, that's I mean, not hearsay, but that's all. Uh, if you guys, still, if you guys want to know, let me know in the comments below, and I will I'll definitely talk about it. Anyway, let's stop talking about that. Um, that intro that you saw will be used more often. Um, it will be in front of a lot of my videos, mainly the ones like this one, and as you can tell, I have a name for this one. It's called Hanging in the Dork Side with Dar Shaggy, which is going to be kind of a vlog, kind of a weekly thing, where I show you what I picked up this week and and uh, stuff like that. Um, I did pick up a few open figures this, this week, and I've actually already got them up on the shelf. Um, so I, I might show them to you. Who knows? I may show a little bit of my collection off today. Who knows? In fact, well, let's do that. Let's do that right away. Come on. I don't know what else to do for my 100th video, so I'll show a couple of my shelves, not all of them, but just a few to give you a little bit of a taste, a little bit of a peek of, of my collection. Anyway, let's go see what they, what I have in store for you. Okay, guys, let's start off by showing you a few things I have on the outside of my shelf. I have a, a Wolverine and standing on a sign with Spider-Man, and yes, he does have... A Santa hat. I never did take it off from Christmas. Um, anyway, I, I can't. I sorry, I can't stop saying that. Let's keep on going. I got the set piece that came with Mary Jane, and got Red Skull and crossbones up there. Let's move right along. Let's stick with the Marvel for a while. Let's move around the edge of the shelf, and let's look at all the baddies over here. Yeah, I like the pose of Deadpool there, and Carnage standing above him. Got, there's Archangel that I found not too long ago. Um, those movie Incredible Hulk uh, figures really work good with scale to scale, it, better than the actual ones that are in the Marvel Universe. There's all the bunch of drones from uh, Iron Man. Let's move right along. There's my movie Avengers so far. in their movie accurate poses or looks. Then on the steps I've got Yellow Jacket and a bunch of other guys back there. Tony Stark, Steve Rogers, Logan, um, Cable. Let's keep on keeping on. Oh. Got Spider Man hanging upside down. Got Nightcrawler up there hanging on the fence. Move right along over here. Got World War Hulk. Another Spider Man. Oh, Ant Man over there hiding in the corner. Sentry. Uh, Black Panther has been moved a little bit. He's not supposed to be sticking Black Widow on the side. It's, I don't know how that happened. 
Uh, yeah, constrictor. Anyway, let's let's move on down here to my GI Joe shelf. A slew of Cobra over here on my baddies. Battle Android Troopers. Um, that Cobra Commander back there in the back was kind of a shock that I got that one. Um, I showed you in one of my whole videos that I got a X-Men jet. <clears throat> well, I opened it up and the cockpit started rattling around. So I opened the cockpit and he was stuck in there. So obviously the thing had been opened before. Um, I got one of those those Cobra Troopers over the weekend. Move on down. Um, let's see. There's Storm Shadow. I got that Cobra Commander just here recently. Um, there's that Duke that I picked up a couple weeks ago. I've got another zombie. Um, zombie trooper but I just haven't opened it yet <clears throat> there's snake eyes and a kind of a cool pose and same with an older scarlet and that lifeline over there and an old vehicle with the skyhawk over there a couple more storm shadows or uh, snake eyes in the back an old lunchbox that I picked up from a friend of mine a long time ago. Well, not a long time ago, a couple months ago. Some more Cobra Troopers, Vipers. But, yeah, and then I'll go ahead and show you one more shelf. Look up here through the marble. This is a shelf that I've been working on for a while. I, if you guys know, I like Bumblebee, so I uh, had to put it back together because I had that big bumblebee out for a while and was messing around with him. In fact, I may possibly be doing some ACBA stuff with him in the near future. There's some more bumblebees. And then I also collect Optimus Prime a little bit, not as much as bumblebee. But, so you'll see some Optimus Primes throughout. Some more bumblebees. There's that new McDonald's one and uh, Bumblebee ones over here in the corner with the big old torpedo sticking out of the top of it. And another McDonald's one or Burger King, one of the two, whichever one put it out that year. A few more. And there's the first movie one. And back around. Everything on the shelf is either related to Bumblebee or or uh, Optimus Prime except for Sam Witwicky. <laughs> I know it's the mutt uh, figure from from uh, Indiana Jones, but considering that he was played by the same character, or same actor that played Sam, uh, Shia LaBeouf, I figured well, why not put it with my Bumblebee shelves. But anyway, hope you enjoyed looking at a little bit of my collection. And let's wrap this video up. Well, there you have it. Just a little bit of a peek into my collection. Um, I could show you more, but then you wouldn't want to see anything. I mean, you wouldn't. I need you. You need to be hungry to come back for some more. Uh, so I will eventually show off more of my collection. I've got several, several more shelves that I could show off. Um, I know it's small. I haven't been collecting for very long. So, but uh, I guess. I can start to wrap up this video a little bit. Um, who would have thought 100 videos and two years into it that I'm still still going? I, I never would have thought of it. I just did it on a whim for a little bit and thought, you know what, it's kind of fun. Um, that being said, I also want to thank each and every one of you that has ever commented or watched one of my videos or subscribed to me. You guys mean the world to me, and I, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. You guys, you guys rock. You guys keep me doing what I'm doing. Um, I, I thought I'd give you a little bit of an insight of how I started on YouTube. I, uh, well, like I said, I, technically my two-year anniversary would have been back in November, but this is the day, 
from when I shot my first video or uploaded my first video. But between the November and April, I was like heavily into watching a lot of videos. Um, some of the people I watched a lot that inspired me to actually start doing videos were Sean Long. He got me back into collecting figures and kind of got me back into the comic book thing. Uh, him and some of his buddies like Quorum TV and a couple other guys from the BKBN group. Uh, Shardimus Prime. They all. I've watching their videos. Got me, got me hooked. Um, another guy that got me hooked on collecting uh, action figures was Sith Lord 229. A uh, guy from overseas. Amazing Star Wars collector. Um, but a big, big shout out though goes to my little buddy over there, also overseas, who was actually my very first subscriber. He subscribed to me before I even posted a video and that was amazing and that was awesome I thank you every day his name is uh, uh, Darth Prime he is he's been he stuck around in fact he's even started commenting on my videos as of last week he left a comment on one of my videos so I know he's he he watches my stuff and thanks a lot buddy um, and other people who have kind of got me into the video thing were uh, nerds for L from up in Canada she's she has a lot of funny videos um, I actually found her on Blog TV, and then she's the one who talked me into, or convinced me into making videos. Um, I don't know if she remembers some of our conversations we had about two and a half years ago. Um, we talked briefly from time to time, um, on Blog TV, that is. Um, other, I mean, there's there's a lot of people, Bill, or uh, Matt Goldberg from MGB, or MBG uh, Films. He got me into the whole wrestling uh, collection, collecting again. Got well, not not that I collect a lot of wrestling anymore, but he uh, he showed his stop motions really got me hooked, got me hooked. And there's there's a lot of guys that got me hooked on YouTube. Um, and if I'm if I if you guys if I'm missing out on any of you guys, I don't mean to. Um, I just I'm going on a whim here. But uh, they all, just watching what they did kind of got me hooked um, and got me interested in the whole YouTube thing. And then eventually I worked up and, and started doing ACBA. And the guys over at ACBA are amazing, but nice. Uh, thank you for welcoming, welcoming me into, or letting me be involved in the world tournament. Um, that was a lot of fun. I didn't get very far into it, but it was a lot of fun. And... You will see Shaggy again doing uh, ACBA, um, but in the long run, a lot of those guys made me, kind of gave me that hunger to continue on YouTube. Um, it's been a lot of fun. There's There are some ACBA uh, tournaments that are going on right now, and I'm hopefully, or, or not tournaments, but contests going on. Uh, Tenacious Rick has one going on right now that I'm... I'm really looking forward to entering. Um, don't know what I'll do yet. It's uh, pretty much open. It, anything goes. Crossovers, which I like doing crossovers. I want to start doing some more crossovers. Um, crossovers. Uh, it, it pretty much, you can use one figure or you can use 500 figures, as he said. And I hopefully, hopefully, I'll I'll get something in on that. And a couple other contests are coming up. And who knows, maybe eventually one day I might be inspired to do a, a contest myself. But uh, until that happens, who knows. Uh, just want you guys all to know that you guys all rock. And thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video and any of my other videos. Like I said, you guys mean the world to me. Um, I wouldn't be doing it I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't have at least one view of, of my videos. And there's been videos that I've had very few videos, and then there's some that I've had thousands of views. Um, but that's, that just, like I said, that, that fuels my fire to keep going. Um, I hope to hope to keep these going every day, I mean, once, not every day of the week, once a week I hopefully will have something like this up. Um, but, I don't know. But anyway, thanks again. Um, for all your support, I love you guys. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Um, keep doing what you're doing. Um, until the next video, I guess I will see you soon. Shaggy up! Yeah, 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 yeah.